video focuses on converting to vertex form using completing the square. So here is a quadratic equation. It's a function. This function is in standard form. And we want to convert it to vertex form by completing the square. So right now we have this C term. We're going to move this C term over to the other side. So we're going to add 13 to both sides. What happens on the right is this negative 13 and 13 cancel, and then on the left we have the function plus 13, I'm going to just leave a space, equals, and then we have this x squared plus 10x, and then I'm going to leave a space. Alright, we are set now to complete the square. So we're going to take half of 10, which is 5, then we are going to square that number. 5 times 5 is 25. We are going to add 25 here <clears throat> to balance out the equation. We're going to add 25 there. So now on the left, we have the function, and now we're going to add the two terms together on the left. 13 plus 25 is 38 and then equals, and now we have this quadratic equation on the right that we can now factor. This is a perfect square trinomial. So if you say, what are the factors of 25 that add to 10? Well, that's 5 times 5, which is 25 adds to 10. So in factor form, that's x plus 5 and x plus 5, or x plus 5 all squared. <clears throat> I haven't done anything with this left hand side. I want to get it back into just the f of x on the left. So I'm going to now subtract 38 from both sides and now my purple 38 is alone on the right side. So this is my minus 38 and my plus 5. To identify that vertex, you always do the opposite and then the same. That's your critical point. So it's negative 5, negative 38. Here's a second example. Convert to vertex form and identify the vertex. So we're going to first move this 145 over to the left. So we say f of x equals or minus 145, so we're minusing 145 from both sides. And then we have x squared plus 24x. Now I'm just going to rewrite the function with a plus and a blank equals x squared 24x plus and a blank. We have to figure out what's going to go in that blank. So we're going to take half of our middle term, 24, which is 12, and then we square that number. 12 squared is 144. So we're going to add 144 here. We also have to add 144 there. <clears throat> now I'm going to combine these two terms together. Negative 145 plus 144 is negative 1. And then I have this f of x still over here on the left equals, and then on the right I have x squared plus 24x plus 144. That is now factorable. <clears throat> we say what are the factors of 144 that add to 24? Well that's 12 and 12. It's a perfect square. x plus 12, x plus 12. Or x plus 12 all squared. Now I do need to move that minus 1 back over to the right hand side. So how do I move this back over to here? I have to add 1. So now my function f of x equals x plus 12 all squared plus 1. There is my vertex pieces. This is opposite and same. So my vertex is opposite, same. Last example, 
convert to vertex form by completing the square. So we're going to subtract 13 from both sides. So now it's x squared minus 4x. Now I'm going to go plus 1 with a blank equals x squared minus 4x plus 1 plus with a blank. Now we're set to complete the square. Half of negative 4 is negative 2. Then we square it, and we get 4. So we're going to add 4 here. We're going to add 4 there. Balance it out. I'm going to add these two numbers together. Negative 13 plus 4 is negative 9 equals x squared minus 4x plus 4. Now we can factor that perfect square trinomial is x minus 2 times x minus 2 or x minus 2 all squared. We do need to move this minus 9 back over to the right, so we're going to add 9. So our function is f of x equals x minus 2 all squared plus 9. The vertex is opposite, same. Opposite, same. 